we wanted to reinvent and redefine teaching. So the idea is that the students, they are put together in teams. They did not know each other before, exactly like in industry. And they get a real customer with a real problem. Sometimes the customer do not really know what they want. And of course the real time frame, real data and high expectation and they have to develop this within a project. The goal of the underwriter app was to simplify the contract process by bundling all the necessary steps and information into one well-designed iPad app. Dear customers, dear students, dear guests, welcome, welcome to MDAP uh, 2013. Welcome to this uh, Lighthouse project. Our company uh, entirely focused on mobile app development. Um, we produce cars, many cars. Uh, we would like to kind of use this as a, as a remote control. What we need and what the customer needs here is, is a two-step thing. One, we have to calculate the risk that you can make on the shipping route. And the second step is how to underwrite it. So, our project for MLab is a, a project of social and, and sailing navigation. Welcome everybody. Welcome Mr. Malesh. Welcome. So we, we want a system that avoid distractions and on the other side is compliant with the uh, regularities and the traffic laws. So this is uh, an example from our customer uh, on a few tiles with uh, nautical map data. So right now what we want to do is we want to combine the whole process into one single app so the underwriter can go to the customer only one time and then they can do it on site. Um, client system is divided into four subsystems. The first sub subsystem is view <coughs> subsystem. It contains all the important parts of the user interface and describes how the applications look like. We have three main views of our um, app. I'm very satisfied with the team. They evolved after a short period of time into a real team. Uh, three months ago, we met exactly in the same time and the same room. Finally, welcome everybody. This is uh, the team Volkswagen, or how I would call it, Team V Remote. And this is our app. We either use the proximity sensor, so we just hold our hands in front of the smartphone. Say again, but we want to control the music. We can use this map uh, as you would expect when you know Google Maps, for example. You just uh, you can scroll the map when you do swipe gestures, and you can use pinch to zoom. Uh, please notice how uh, pretty performant it is, uh, considering <laughs> that we are doing uh, encryption. So, to wrap up the problem, just let's watch this trailer. Does your provider tell you that you're the only one having this problem? Share your problem and check who's having your problem around you. Check the map to know what's going on around you. Look at your position. Check the bandwidth measured. Check the call quality. Check the bandwidth comment by other users. Oh well, I'm happy. So. <laughs> As a brief comment, um, as you might know, we had working for an employee on this, but almost the same time, but more working time, and you did better. Um, the most important uh, business advantage of our app is the transparency. In our scenario, we have the possibility to show the price that is calculated directly to the customer, and uh, he can, uh, sitting together with the underwriter, he can uh, directly see what is the input and what is the output, you can see every change directly. And we made it happen. Thank you very much. I'm happy with the product, yes, I was astonished about the progress in the last two weeks. I think, as I know, it's a good idea. 
yeah, to show students as early as possible how a regular project works. And I had the feeling that those guys, they came to us several times, they were enthusiastic in doing this and working and having good ideas and thank you for this. I really liked about the project as an instructor was that the students really associated themselves with the project as if it is Indeed, it was their own project. I totally enjoyed Ender. Thanks for all the effort. Um, well, I think most fun was working together with all the other team members. Um, I would say our meetings. Huh? Our meetings with Ziad, a lot of fun. When first I read the poster of MLab hanging around and read applications, read customers, read deadlines, I thought that yeah, I would fail the same things, and yeah, that's what I meant. Like we had. Real meetings with the customer, real business meetings, and real problems we have to face. So I can say that it matched my expectations. For me, MLab was a quite nice project. Um, I think we learned a lot of things, especially uh, regarding teamwork issues, some uh, project management issues, and in the end, uh, we made a quite nice app. For example, we use JIT and um, Redmine. It's a project management tool where you can do issue tracking and using a forum for communication and also a wiki to help um, users to get to know to new stuff. Join MLab and we'll be happy to see your first app on the App Store. Be part of it and make the experience.